we level up? Find something spotty. My wife. The car is spotty. Oh yeah. All right, now we level up. Yeah, two things. So one item, two descriptions. It needs to be something pointy and something rough. Rough and pointy. Rough and pointy. Come on, find something rough and pointy. Every Thursday we have a lab with people from the whole community of Exeter is invited, but it's also staff and students where we experiment with new things about learning about play. And uh, there will be some time to talk with me uh, while we walk, but we will stop a couple of times to keep playing this game and then at the, at the, the grass we do something. Hello Sarah! Alright. Uh, now I think uh, yeah, we'll still do two. Find something yellow. And green, yellow and green. Yeah, you have to find something yellow and green. One item. Three, yes. Yeah. We got one green. Bumpy. That is three of a kind. And dead. Wow. Dead, bumpy, and three of a kind. <laughs> It's really the same. Like three, three, three ends, three. Yeah. I think this is dead. Bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Was it ever alive? <laughs> 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 what is dead? <laughs> like there's three lamps. This sort of got. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> as well uh, so uh, and you can also create it if it doesn't exist then make it out of whatever you can find um, all right here we go something heavy short swish swish or that we already had so it has to go swish or well however you want it your interpretation swish it has to be swish and tough. Tough. Ah, uh, I know. Tough. Hold. Tough. Hold. Swish. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> and short. <laughs> that swish? But I have done it with 150 people in a lecture theater. I've done it with 100 people online. I've done it with uh, two people in a meeting. And it's very quick uh, and um, breaks the ice. Get some brain regions activated that you have to improvise. It's also, also uh, an exercise for your brain. That, uh, that, that it's okay that things are ambiguous. That you, uh, that you, how, how do you interpret that switch? It doesn't matter uh, in life quite often. How you interpret it, how what you make, uh, and it's quite underused. I see playfulness uh, very broad, and as a, a, a quite, a, I think the humans are very good at it. it uh, but they have play muscles that need to be practiced, and that's what I'm all about. Let's practice this with muscle. Talking about practicing our play muscle, I'm going to do the following game. Uh, I want to circle up. So I, I learned uh, recently a, a good way to circle up. You do like elbows out, you have to touch elbows. As well, and uh, it really helps again with some improvisation, creativity. Getting a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, quite often when you are uh, having fun and be a bit uncomfortable, that's where the interesting learning happens, creativity, innovation. So that was, that was one I wanted to share with you. Uh, and uh, when we walk back, we can uh, ask some questions about that. I have one more game to play. Uh, who knows story cubes? Me! <laughs> <laughs> but 
Do you know the big ones? No. I've got big ones now. Wow. Uh, so I, I invite you to now collectively create a story with, uh, with me. And we do it as follow. I'll just throw some dice. Okay. And some pictograms come up. And there's no right or wrong, and there's no specific order. Uh, uh, and I will start off a story, and then I'll invite uh, someone else to go next. And there are nine, uh, so let's go. All right. Uh, this story takes place in a zoo. And this is not a normal zoo. It is uh, the smallest zoo in the world. It's on a tiny island, and it has only one animal. It's an elephant. <laughs> it's called the Elephant Zoo. <laughs> However, they had big plans to go bigger, but there was no space for more animals on it. So they were coming, with, uh, the, the island council came together and talked about how can we make the zoo bigger, because one elephant is a bit less. Um, but they didn't know how to do it. But then one of the council members had an idea. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs>